Dear all, welcome to the playlist of control systems. In this session, I will be discussing about second order control system. As we know that the highest power of denominator polynomial of second order control system is equal to 2. First of all, you have to consider a closed loop control system. In that, this is actually G of S. And the feedback is unity. So you can write h of s equal to 1. Then how will you calculate the transfer function? Now let us calculate the transfer function by using the formula c of s divided by r of s is given by g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Here the value of h of s equal to 1 because of unity feedback system. Uh, therefore I will be writing 1 plus g of s. Now you can substitute the value of g of s over here. Then after substituting the value of g of s over here, it is possible to calculate c of s divided by r of s. Once you simplify, you will be getting c of s by r of s equal to omega n square divided by a square plus 2 theta omega n s plus omega n square. This is the standard value of second order control system. The transfer function of the second order control system is given by c of s divided by r of s equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Here I would like to introduce you what is omega n. Here omega n is known as natural frequency of oscillation. It is expressed in terms of radian per second. Similarly, one more important information about one coefficient that is known as zeta. So this is known as zeta, that is known as damping ratio. Now I would like to explain the importance of damping ratio or you can call zeta. Zeta is the ratio of actual damping to the critical damping. It's a unitless quantity. Moreover, the response, the C of T means the response, time response, that will be directly depending on the value of zeta. Moreover, Depends on the value of zeta, you can classify second order system like undamped system, underdamped system, overdamped system, and critically damped system. So let us find out different values of zeta. Suppose if the value of zeta is equal to zero, then the second order system is known as undamped second order system. On the opposite hand, if the value of zeta is equal to one, then the second order control system is known as critically damped second order control system. If the value of zeta less than 1, then it is known as underdamped second order control system. And finally, if the value of zeta is greater than 1, then it is known as overdamped second order control system. So this is the way how you classify the second order control system based on the value of zeta. So these are the importance of zeta or damping ratio. Now, I would like to calculate the roots of characteristic equation. Let me write the value of characteristic equation right now. So the characteristic equation is s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square equal to 0. That means equate the denominator polynomial that is equal to 0. Then it becomes characteristic equation. Now uh, this is in the form of a quadratic equation. So I can easily calculate the roots of given characteristic equation by applying the formula of quadratic equation. Let me apply uh, the quadratic equation formula over here. Then I will be getting the roots. S1 and S2 are the two roots. That is equal to minus b uh, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here a you can take 1. b is equal to 2 zeta omega n. c is equal to omega n square. Then uh, by applying in the equation I will be getting minus 2 zeta omega n plus or minus square root of 2 zeta omega n the whole square minus 4 into 1 into omega n square divided by 2 into 1. Uh, then again I need to simplify, you have to elaborate the particular uh, root. Then once you elaborate it, I will be getting minus 2 zeta omega n plus or minus square root of 4 zeta square omega n square minus uh, 4 omega n square divided by 2. So if I take 2 outside, then I will be getting uh, 2 roots, s1 comma s2 that is equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into square root of zeta square minus 1. So this is the final answer. Now you can apply different cases. For example, for case 1, 
If the value of zeta is equal to zero, then the system is known as undamped system. For undamped system, how about the roots of the given characteristic equation of second order control system? Now let us examine individual case. For undamped system, uh, let me put zeta is equal to zero, damping ratio equal to zero. When I put damping ratio equal to zero, this term is getting zero. The only term which is remaining is omega n into square root of minus one. So square root of minus one can be written as j. In complex number, you must have a familiar square root of minus one is equal to j. Somebody may call uh, i also. Both are fine. That is equal to plus or minus j into omega. N. So what is the conclusion which you can make for undamped system? Roots are purely imaginary. So you get familiar this kind of concept in multiple choice questions. For undamped system, the roots are dash. You can give the answer purely imaginary. Uh, in case of uh, critically damped system, put the value of zeta that is equal to one. Uh, then the roots becomes s one comma s two that is equal to here minus omega n. This term is becoming zero. So this is the root. So we can say that for critically damped system. Only one root will be there. Only one root, and the peculiarities of the roots are real and equal. Roots are real and equal. Roots are real and equal. That's a speciality. Actually, only one root will be there. But we can say that if there are two roots, then roots are real and equal. That's a speciality of uh, critical damped control systems. Similarly, moving on to third case, over damped system. In case of over damped system, the value of damping ratio is greater than one always. So we can put the assume one value for zeta, and if you substitute over the, then you will be getting the roots are real and unequal. So put any arbitrary value, for example one point five or two. Then if you look at the roots, then we will come to know that roots are real and unequal. So that is the conclusion regarding over damped system. Now. Moving on to fourth case, that is under damped system. The value of theta will be always less than one. You can also write in this manner: zero less than theta less than one. That means the value of theta should be less than one. So the roots are you now from this equation. You can take minus one outside from this portion. You consider this portion. From this, you can able to take minus one outside. Therefore, I can modify the equation: theta omega n. Plus or minus square root of omega n into square root of. I'll be taking minus one. Therefore, this equation becomes one minus theta square. One minus theta square. Now, as you know that square root of minus one equal to j. Therefore, equation can be modified as That is minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n into square root of one minus zeta square. So you can modify once again. Minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega d. J omega d. Here, I would like to mention the omega d that is equal to omega n into square root of one minus zeta square. So. Here, omega d is known as damped frequency of oscillation. It is expressed in terms of radian per second. So there is a relationship between omega d and omega n. That is equal to omega d is equal to omega n into square root of one minus theta square. So this is the relationship between uh, natural frequency of oscillation and the damped frequency of oscillation. So this is very important for control system design. In this session. i have discussed about what do we mean what do we mean by second order control system thereafter i could write the standard second order transfer function that is equal to c of s divided by r of s equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 uh, theta omega n s plus omega n square so afterwards i could classify the second order control system based on the damping ratio if damping ratio is equal to 0 then system is known as undamped system 
if it is less than 1 then it is known as under damped system similarly if the value of zeta that is equal to 1 then it is known as critically damped system similarly if the value of zeta greater than 1 then it is known as over damped system and we have inspected the value of roots of each cases for example for undamped system the roots are purely imaginary similarly for critically damped system roots are real and equal and uh, if the damping ratio greater than 1 that means over damped system roots are real and unequal and finally if the value of uh, zeta less than 1 that means under damped system we will be getting the roots are complex conjugate and the system is under damped roots are complex conjugate for this case I can write roots are complex conjugates so the roots the roots are complex conjugate so that's a peculiarity of under damped system Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this channel useful, please do subscribe. Thanks a lot.